Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. It's me Ravi here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform Traffic Light Java application program using Applet and Event. So before uh, starting into this, I have uh, kept this programs uh, in this folder that is mini projects. That is my package name and I have imported these packages like AWT Event. We are going to perform click events using mouse and uh, I'm using applet.star awt.star and the class name is traffic light which extends applet and uh, implements item listener so item listener in the sense we're gonna perform some actions on an item it can be a radio button or checkbox or something mm. so uh, if it is applet I'm not going to use anything like main method instead of that we're gonna have a init method fine so oh, here I have declared these variables like initially I have kept a string empty and checkboxes I'm gonna have three checkboxes checkbox group I'm named I have named this one as uh, CBG so in this init method uh, the checkbox group is CBG and I'm gonna create uh, three checkboxes that is uh, red green and yellow that is a text which it is going to display for these boxes and all these things are grouped into this CVG and initially I have set everything false which means that no checkbox will be you know selected by default if I uh, if I mention true then you know this particular checkbox will be checked by default okay so I have added all these things into uh, this and uh, I have added uh, the item listener accordingly and uh, okay so if the item state changed I'm gonna do repaint which means that first I have selected this text box sorry checkbox and I'm gonna select another checkbox so which means that I have changed my state from this to this so and it should do repaint okay so this method is important that is paint graphics G and uh, uh, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna set black color and um, you see that I'm gonna draw three ovals um, oh, so as it is a traffic light uh, program we're gonna have three lights right uh, yellow uh, green and red so that is why and so now the user is going to ask, uh, I'm gonna click on my uh, window that is using my mouse so I need to get the selected checkbox right if it is red then I should show I should fill with red color then I should show that stop right so those kind of things so for that uh, I'm gonna uh, collect uh, the selected checkbox so using this and um, if that uh, uh, clicked one is green then I'm gonna sh uh, fill that one uh, with fill the oval with green color okay yeah and uh, I'm gonna draw string I'm gonna use draw string uh, method where uh, to display something like uh, go stop and all and this is the size of that and if it is red uh, then I should set the color and fill the oval in the red color and um, again I'm gonna use a draw string to show a message called uh, stop and again over here you see this uh, if it is yellow I'm gonna fill with that yellow color and draw string the message is ready so let's that's it and let's run the program so that you can understand this better see these are all three uh, checkboxes it is going to uh, display initially nothing is selected because we have kept it as false and if I click on this red it should fill the oval with red color so now it is it has filled and the message is stop right according to this and if I click on this yellow and simultaneously you see this these events will 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 be generated here yeah red yellow so what are the things you are going to click and uh, so now it is yellow it is showing ready and if I green see that it is it is like so the events are executing one by one whenever you perform something so now it is green and the oval is filled with green and this is go that's it so this is a simple program uh, hope you understood this uh, if you like the video hit the like button thank you and thanks for watching the video